Welcome back to the channel guys. So I have another upgrade here. It is the chamfered slide rack base of Roundly steering slide rack. So it's it's the slide rack and usually when you get the slide rack it comes with uh, the black aluminum and I'm doing the red aluminum. Um, why am I doing the red aluminum? Because it just looks good I guess. <laughs> so I'm just gonna install this one and I'm going to show you guys pretty much how to adjust the slide rack. I did make a video on it, on how to adjust it. And um, I figured I'd just re make another one, I guess, because uh, I still get some questions asked about it. And um, yeah, so I can just do it in this one. Brand new video regard showing this and how to adjust it. And I'm not doing it on my personal chassis. I'm just going to move this over. I'm doing it to uh, my friend's chassis. So as you can see there, it's this piece right here. That's gonna be that. That's black. That's gonna be turned. That's gonna be uh, red. So let me get my tool here. Where's my two mill? I don't know where my two mill is, but so this one right here, the one that that's hitting, that's the one I'm gonna be replacing. As you can see, I'm gonna replace it with this one here. And if you guys see me blocking the price off here, I'm just blocking the price because I don't know. What price is is a good price <laughs> so yeah i'm just blocking, I'm blocking the price so don't worry about that but yeah so i'm gonna take this apart i'm just gonna do a time lapse of me taking this apart because um yeah it's not if you, yeah there's other videos out there showing how to think take things apart i'm just gonna do it quickly time lapse it and uh i'll bring you guys back when i have when i'm putting this piece on All right, so I got I got the slide rack out. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It's only those two red bolts that you saw there on the front that come off, and then you take it off. You just release the the steering arms to the left and the right, and this will come right out. Don't forget the servo horn as well. You gotta release that bad boy. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna release this, take these off here, take these bearings part out. I was gonna give it a proper cleanup because as you can see, this is. Yeah, I was trying to clean up a lot of it. I got the front here pretty good. As you can see, I still got this side to do. I'm getting dirty like crazy on my hands. So I'm just gonna clean this up. And it's always good to clean your slide rack every once in a while because you can see it's 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 it still moves, but right here, right there, it binds right there. And looking behind it, I'm like, yeah, there's quite a bit of dirt. <laughs> so right there, yeah. Right here, two binds right here, right there going back. See, I'm hitting it, and it's not moving more. Yeah, it should move more, as you can see when I force it. There you go. All right. It's not moving. It should move more free than that. <laughs> if I shake it, if I go back left and right. No, it doesn't move. <laughs> it should move pretty free. All right, I'll just give you guys another time lapse of me cleaning this up. So you guys don't get bored of just watching me. Or make this video 30 minutes of just doing cleaning. <laughs> so as, as you guys can see, I have taken it completely apart. I'm gonna get, and then we're just replacing this guy with this guy and there's no difference in weight or anything it's literally just this is just cosmetic upgrade <laughs> so open this guy up right, 
And again, if you guys are looking for what, I'm, what it is, there's the information there. Put that in the box. And there you go, all right? Nice clean little piece. Oh, I'm not even on picture. All right, nice clean piece. And again, if you have a, if your car is doing all, if you're doing all red parts on your car, like this one here, as you can see, red motor mounts, red screws, red e revo tops for remote, like, right, red big borders. And yeah, I would do the upgrade, right? If you have a Yokomo one, then you get the, the red Yokomo uh, shock towers. Um, oh, like this one, I believe. Let's see here. Yeah, there you go. Like my YD2 here, right? You get the red shock towers, right? So it's, right, and there's my, and there's my black one there too, right? But again, this is not my car I'm working on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if I can get my, if I can get a hold of one of these, I, I would put it in my car. Just literally looks, not cosmetic looks, or not performance. I should say it's literally for looks. Bring you guys back. I gotta clean all this up though before I put all this reassemble. Right, and now on to the assembly. So again, right, assemble back. Both get two bearings. Let's put that back in. That one. And they're all the same size, so you, you know you're not gonna. You don't have to guess. Oh, which bearing goes where? Which which shaft is there? No, it's all the same size. So remember the slide right goes into the car like this, right? It doesn't go like this, right? It goes like this. This is on the on your right, I guess, or this is my right anyways. Right, right, left. So the best way, oh, let's see here. Just to grab this guy, right? So the this big guy, the big screw, right? As you can see, there's no it's not countersunk, right? These guys are countersunk oh. as you can see right has the v-shape right countersunk oh because it goes right into that into the groove there that's countersunk so you know that one and this one because there's two will go right there so you can't really mess that up and then this one goes at the front right it's pretty much the same way you took it apart it's the same way it's going to go back obviously i time lapsed the way i took it apart because yeah there's no need for me to show you that part <laughs> or the assembly part to be honest Alright, so I'm just going to grab this guy. I'm going to put the front one on. Or maybe I do the rear one. No, actually, I'm going to do the rear. The rear, I find it easier to get them on. To take it off doesn't really matter which way they come off. It's got to come off. But for getting them on, just for... I find the rear ones are easier to get on. Just like that. Everything's hand tight, right? Nothing's locked down, right? Put it on there. As you can see, it goes to the front here. Oh, jumped the gun there. It's been a while since I built this one. Let's put the one, sorry. So just put the one in. Get the one angled in there, just like that. Right? So now it's in. Hold the screw down. You can get this guy on here now. Now I need to use my hand. There you go. Just hand tighten it. I'm just gonna use the screw. Make it easier on my hand, on myself. <laughs> Nothing tight, just snug. I just put it on there. Oh, take it out. Let's give this guy a snug so it doesn't fall off accidentally. There you go. Oh, I still got some dirt there. I oh, got it. All right, so it's as you can see it's in there. All right? I don't have the top one on there. I don't have that one on there yet, as you can see. So I'm going to put that bearing on there. So put the bearing in. 
first, right? Just like that. Hold as close to the hole as possible. Pull this way from underneath. Grab your two mil. Don't force it in. Just turn it freely. All right, just turn it freely till it, oh, there you go. The thread's connected, perfect. So now you know it won't go. See, and there you go, look at Obviously it's not, you have to adjust. So this is, this is the part that you need to watch, the adjustment part. If I hold this part, if I just hold this here, just like this, as you can see, I get a lot of slop. I don't know if you can get it there on camera. All right. See that slop, All right? Side to side, front and back. Oh, where's front and back? There you go, front, front and back, just like that. You see that slop, All right? That's what you don't want. You need a little bit of it, but not this much of it, right? There's a, there's a limit to how much you need. So here's a, I don't know if I can get it on camera. There's these little arrows here pointing, as you can see them there, right? All of them have it. As If you look at it closely, the hole here, they're not centered, as you can see. If you can see it, it's not perfectly centered. It's, it's offset a little bit from the center. So when you rotate the, the screw, instead of turning it like, instead of the screw, when you turn the screw, instead of being perfectly circled like this, when you're locking it in, when you lock it in, the screw curves in an angle like this. It goes outward like this. Right, so if your slide rack is right here and this is my bolt here, right, it's all here. So when I'm tightening it, it's gonna turn, it's gonna come into it and squeeze it. And if I turn more, it's gonna release it, so I get more, I get more play. So as more, the more I turn, the tighter it gets. But you don't want it too tight that the slide rack doesn't move. So you turn it a little bit more, and then you open up a little bit, you free it up a little bit. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna. Tighten it up, as you can see, so I'll bring you guys back when I have it done. I have it, it this is the, where they are. It's like five o'clock. This is about seven, and that's pointing up at 12 right now. So let me, let me see. So this is me fully done and adjusted. As you can see, when I swing this way, it goes that way. When I go this way, oh, I'm stuck here. Oh, I went over. Oh, it got stuck with the screw there. So I went lock to lock. If, it, if you go lock to lock, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There's like a little, it'll hit the screw there and then it'll go over it. So it locks in. And if you go this way, same thing. Yeah, see, you hear that little clip? Which is what you don't really want. You don't want that, All right? It'll still come out because it's not a hard clip, so the servo will pop out, right? But you don't you don't want that right now. Right now we're just gonna see how we just see the slider just goes. That's what you want, right? You want the slider. I'm just gonna hold it so it doesn't clip in. So what you want right now is a slider to just go side to side on its own, right? Again, this is personal preference. I find it this is the best for me and for you know my teammates and some guys that have set up their slide rack this so i set it up and they're happy with it um there's no crazy slop as you can see it's pretty firm and the settings that i have for it as you can see here it's i have this one pretty much at two o'clock this one is about uh 11 right they're probably almost the same and then i have the top one is about three four in between four and three o'clock that's what i have that one set up at i don't know if you guys can see that right so me telling you personally i would set these guys up to be exactly how they are pretty much aiming towards 12 the best you can and then you adjust this guy from the top here so when you turn this guy when it's in your car these these two are going to be covered up when they're in your car this one is going to be accessible from the top and the bottom so what you do is you grab your two mil, you turn this guy, and it'll turn this one here at the bottom as well. 
and it'll go to where you want it to be. And then you lock it in from the bottom and from the top, right? So again, set up this, these two, set them up so they're aiming at 12. So this one's aiming at like 11, this one's aiming at like one, two. It's close to, in a dang, it's close to aiming to the middle one as possible. And then you can play around with this guy to make adjustment from your car. So you don't have to take this whole slide rack off just to make an adjustment on the bottom two. Because if you have to make an adjustment on these two guys, you're gonna take everything off just to get to, to these guys to tighten them up, which is what you don't want. All right, and that's pretty much it there. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good though. I like the red, with the red bolt with the red screws. Looks nice. I like it. All right, put these away. Put the chassis back in here. Chassis's got a lot of a lot of dirt in here. I'm gonna be changing out um, uh, the toll blocks as well, front, the the front ones, and I'm gonna be doing the the new Rev D uh, active toe on, on the next video. No, yeah, the next video will be the rear active toe, and then the video after that, it'll be the just the um, the toll blocks front and well the two front ones, right? That one and the one back here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clean this now if I can, <laughs> or at least these arms I'm, I'm going to clean up as much as I can right now. Cause uh, yeah, they messy. Wow. All right, I'm just gonna clean this up and I'll bring you guys right back when I'm done cleaning this. There you go. Looks pretty good there. Has a nice uh, contrast to the rest with the bolts. Actually looks good. All right. Going from that one to that one. Looks good. All right. And I, and again, this is literally just a cosmetic upgrade. It's not a performance upgrade. Unless something's wrong with yours, stock one, which realistically there shouldn't be <laughs> you don't need to to change it to a different color unless uh you want to like that's like this one. Oh, that looks amazing i like that with the big boards the bri with the big board shocks the red bolts the red d the red red d the red uh gyro red fan i like it all right i'll see you guys on the next one